Hi, my name is Tara, and I've developed this channel to help people realize who they are, to awaken their soul's journey and path back to where it's supposed to be. Today, we're going to talk about the sacred relationship, the kindred spirit, the twin flame, and the soulmate. You might be asking yourself, what is a kindred spirit? Well, a kindred spirit is somebody that's going to share the same vibrational frequency and energy as you. They're not necessarily there to promote your spiritual growth, but they're definitely there to offer you some compassion when you need some. They're usually like-minded people as us, and they have a tendency to share the same values and idealistics. They're always honest with each other, and they're going to tell you when we're doing things that are on target with the path of our chosen nature and desires. They're always going to have a sense of natural trust with each other, and they're always going to have a sense of the same values. It could be in either religious forum or politics or ethics. You're always going to be learning from each other and you're always going to be there to rise each other up. This doesn't always have to be a relationship that's based on the romantical sense. Many times kindred spirits tend to be friends. Many times kindred spirits can be coaches or teachers could even be so much as a stranger. The kindred spirit is going to have a respect and compassion and understanding for you, unlike others. So who may you have found to have been your kindred spirits along your path? Teachers, coaches, friends, maybe even your pets have been a kindred spirit of yours. Nature, plants, Mother Gaia herself, a confidant, a neighbor, an employer or an employee? Did you ever think that your employer was going to be your kindred spirit? The kindred spirit is there to help us along with our personal growth and to keep us grounded and give us our compassion when we need it. Now what is a soulmate? A soulmate is there to facilitate our personal growth. A soulmate is going to bring out our forward best self even if it means a very traumatic and hard experience. A soulmate is gonna change the dynamic of who you are internally and elevate your soul to the best possible person that you can be. Now a soul's contract to be your soulmate was initiated before birth. A soulmate doesn't always necessarily mean that it's gonna be somebody of the romantic nature. We have soul contracts with people and that is what disgusts the soul mate. The soul contract of coming onto this earth to develop an understanding and taking on a complete lesson. It could be a variety of different lessons that you're here to promote or be the influencer on. It is the <clears throat> bringing forth growth mechanism or relationship. It is Sometimes the most beautiful experience that you go through and sometimes it is the most traumatic experience that you go through But both of those experiences are fundamentally going to change who you are who you become and who you wish to be in the future The spirit world connections between family and friends that have been bonded between soulmates goes generations and generations deep it's really not something that happens here on earth but it's something that you contract when you're in the other realm, when you're on the other side, when you're getting ready to incarnate into this world and you've chosen your life path the number. Now, every life path is going to have different lessons that are going to be completed. People that come in to show you those lessons in different ways. You ever stuck in a situation where the storyline never changes, but the characters always do? These are people that you have, as soulmates, that have contracts with you to teach you the lessons that you've decided to incarnate upon this earth with. So it could be a hardship lesson, it could be a very loving lesson, but needless to say, this soulmate relationship is about the lessons of life and the soul. These are invaluable lessons. So for example, if you are in an abusive relationship, perhaps you're learning to stand up for yourself. These are lessons of taking action and cause to become a better person for yourself and to understand who you are. 
Now, a soulmate can remain into each other's life forever. They can be best of friends. But again, they also don't always have to be. Sometimes they can be destructive towards each other. You'll always notice who your soulmate is or one of your soulmates. We have thousands. Don't be confused. It's not just a one person soulmate. That would be your twin flame. The soulmate, we make contracts with thousands of souls upon this earth. And we will always recognize each other at the first meeting. So that initial moment of you've known somebody forever, you have, they're one of your soulmates. They challenge each other to become better. Every move you make as a soulmate is to challenge the other person to open their awareness, open their spirituality, and become a better heightened energy being. You know, soulmates can be apart, but they do prefer to be together. And you share a vision of the future. So a soulmate is somebody that you've made a soul contract with to come onto this earth to bring forth valuable lessons to each other, to raise your own elevation, to open up your awareness, to remember who you are. When we're connected to the divine source, we have a tendency to forget that when we get here, we hurt. We're not in high emotional states of vibration love. We go through the emotional spectrum ranging from fear right on up to love. And with that, we f forget who we are as a divine energy source. Being that we are connected to the divine energy source, when we are on the other side and truly connected with that divine source, we forget about pain. We forget about hardships. We forget about agony. So then, connection. The twin flame is the most beautiful relationship, but one of the hardest. The twin flame is the soul in the other realm, splitting itself into two, and then taking two physicalities to the earth. Maybe they don't incarnate at the same time. Maybe one of these souls stays on the other side and connects through energy, through feeling, communicates through thought and emotion. The soul goes through the life trying to reconnect with its own self, for the two have become one, is the traditional value of the twin flame. We can go through our entire life seeking to find our twin flame, and they may not be on this earthly realm. If you are lucky enough to connect with your twin flame, it can be the most beautiful and the hardest relationship of your life. The twin flame aspect tends to mirror back images to us that we are not willing to accept about ourselves, that we haven't healed about within ourselves, that we haven't acknowledged. Some may refer to this as shadow work. And then when you get your twin flame involved, they are reflecting back the aspect of your shadow that you're not interested in working with. The twin flame, when you first meet, is the most sparkling connection ever. As long as the two are evolving together, there usually isn't much confliction or confrontation. But if one of the twin flames wants to evolve spiritually and the other one wants to stay stagnant, you may have issues arise. If you have a twin flame that wants to remain in the lower vibrational energy and one that wants to rise into the higher vibrational energy, you have a soul that is at odds with itself. It's fighting its own self. And with that being said, it causes its own emotional turmoil. Now, it may be two separate physical entities on earth, but it is one spiritual soul that has split itself to go into two separates. So the twin flame connection is a longing and a need to find and be with that other person because it's the other half of the soul. It's the path to oneness, really, to reflect back the strengths and insecurities and shadows within ourselves. It's the yin to our yang. Signs that you've met your twin flame is that you're highly sensitive to each other's energies and maybe even able to communicate telepathically. You may have dreamt about meeting this person long before you even ever met them. And it's almost always romantic in nature. Some of us may not be ready to deal with the issues that arise from the twin flame encounters, and that's when the destructive of one partner not growing from the other arises. 
I do hope that you've enjoyed the content that I've brought forward today, and I look forward to hearing your feedback and reading your feedback below. If you've enjoyed it, please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload new content. It's been a true blessing to come to you today. Enlighten their loving service always. Have a blessed day.